right, Lou. Tell me. That's it, right? As I alluded to, uh, this is the bone charcoal case coloring process that we do in-house. Again, when it's done properly, this has been done for probably a thousand years when they had to harden steel back thousands of years ago. But basically, when the 1911 was originally made, they started with soft metals and they machined it and then they had to harden it afterwards. So case coloring was really a process they did, not to make it pretty, but as a, as a function to harden the steel after they machined it and also to give it corrosion protection. So today, uh, most people are, today actually no one is really doing it. A couple, a handful of guys in the States are doing case coloring, they're already good at it. And uh, uh, we've been doing case coloring on our high grade shotguns under the uh, auspices of Connecticut Shotgun. And now we're also using that case coloring process on these 1911s. And I want to call to your attention the modeling and the gold and the browns and the greens and the blues. Look at the top, look at the top of the slide. Look, it's just, it's just amazing. And no two come out alike because it's a, just a, an artisan process. It sure is. Now that's some sweet 1911 pilot. Mm. Mm. For sure. And you know, I really like that loop. I'll have to have one of those. Oh yeah, we're gonna figure. We're, we're gonna talk about that. All right. And also, I noticed something else. A nice looking revolver there on the table. Are you talking about the single action army? Yes, sir. Look at that guy. This one happens to have some checkering on it. It also has to have happens to have some Nimsky style engraving. And uh, it's really a deluxe uh, model of a single action army. And uh, again, I want to call to your attention, it's all bone and charcoal case colored in our factory in Connecticut. And uh, I just couldn't be more prouder of any handgun than this single action army. This is how the West won. And uh, we could, uh, see uh, the Lone Ranger and Hopalong Cassidy and these old Clint Eastwood movies. And, you know, this is, this is really all about the West. And these guns have been being made since 1872. In Connecticut it all started. And we're in Connecticut and we're still proudly making these guns. And uh, I, just, I just couldn't be more delighted. Yeah, I really like that. You know, you saw the single action army in the 1911. I can't stress the heirloom quality of these. This is an amazing gun. This is something you pass down from generation to generation, right? Look, that's right. They're beautiful. Uh, you'll see it on the range soon, and uh, this is amazing. We can be more proud to offer the shooting enthusiast a finer quality, more well-made gun than what we have to offer. Yeah, it's beautiful. Hey, this was worth a ride out in the desert to see, right? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> okay.